Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Uh, it's been a little while, but we are back together. It is Monday, and here is the solution for Thursday's question. So the question was, for a field trip, four students rode in cars, and the rest filled nine buses. How many students were in each bus if 472 students were on the trip? So the numbers that I have in, in this are four, nine, and 472. Uh, for the for this, we don't really have any clue words that pop right out at us for what we're going to do with these words. Um, but I do know that I'm looking for how many students were in each bus. Wait, hold on, so I'm gonna undo it because that's the real the real question is how many students were in each bus. We know how many students were total were on the trip. But in that question, the first part of it is what we are trying to answer. So we know that there were 472 students total. So four students rode in cars and the rest filled nine buses. So we're going to, based on the wording in the question, we're going to assume that all of the buses were filled equally. So that leaves me with, these. I have these four students that rode in cars, but then every other student rode in a bus. So I'm going to use B as my, as my variable. Four, four students plus nine full buses equals 472. So we're looking really for how many were in each bus. So we're trying to solve this equation for B. Oh, I'm going to undo that because that just was horrible. So I'm trying to solve for B. So using SADMAP, I start by subtracting 4 from each side. 4 minus 4 gives me 0. 9B, I start out writing this way too large. 472 minus 2 gives me 468. From here, I'm going to divide both sides by nine, leaving me with, if I take B equaling 468 divided by nine is 52. So I have 52 students. I know that's chicken scratch, but I just kind of felt like doing it. So in this question, the actual question that we had to answer wasn't at the very end, which is why you have to be careful and read each word carefully. For a field trip, four students rode in cars. It doesn't say how many cars they took. It just said that those four were separate uh, and the rest filled nine buses. So from this, from the wording of the question, like I said, we can assume that those nine buses were filled equally and that 52 students were on each bus. 52 times nine is 468 plus four gives me 472. All right, now on to today's question, like always. So for today, we're gonna to be talking about Daisy. On Tuesday, Daisy bought five hats. On Wednesday, half of all the hats that she had were destroyed. On Thursday, there were only 17 left. So how many did she have on Monday? What this is asking us is really how many hats she started out with. So again, I'm going to look for the numbers. I have in word form the number five. I have a half which is one half, which tells me I'm gonna mul either multiply by one half or divide by two. And that at the end, she had 17 left. So I circled the numbers. Um, one of the boxes I could put around is actually around half. And if, I, if she bought a hat, bought five hats, that tells me she is adding to the amount of hats that she has. So I have five, I have one half, 
I'm left with 17. But what it's asking me is how many hats she started the week with, how many she started with on Monday. So for that, I'm going to let our, uh, I'm going to let H be our variable. So H equals what? Good luck. And as always, if you have a question, please come find me. I will do my best to help you out. Have a great rest of your day.